Hi, Dave Taylor here again, and this time I'm looking at the very cool SL5009 Jet. What's that? It's this. It's a cell phone. It's an Android cell phone. It's actually quite a nice one and very cool. It's this really interesting company out of San Diego, and they take basically off-the-shelf components and assemble really, really affordable Android cell phones. So, let's have a look at this one. So, first off, let me unlock it. And you can see, hopefully, there, it's a pretty nice bright screen. It's actually running a quad processor here. Um, the, and let's see, it's an unlocked phone. So it works right off the box. So you put in the right SIM card and you can go onto AT&T or T-Mobile or Cricket or a lot of the, uh, how do we politely phrase this, second tier cellular carriers. Um, and it's great. So let me just start out with the price. It's 139 bucks. Now, hold on. For that 139 bucks, let's pop open the box and see, because there's a lot of stuff you get with this thing. And let's see, it has an eight megapixel camera and a 1.3 megapixel selfie camera, because you know, in modern times, you gotta have that. Comes with a case. It's not a glamorous case, but it's a case. Comes with a screen protector, comes with USB cable, comes with earbuds. So basically what they've done is for 139 bucks, this covers everything that you need. So this is, for example, a great starter phone for a kid because honestly, if they break it, it's not like it's a $700 iPhone or something. And it really is quite capable. Now, let me tell you, there are some limitations. So for example, it's non-HD. So the screen is certainly attractive and it's nice and bright. And if we bring things up, they are snappy um, and it works pretty well, but you're running at, what is it? It's about 480 by, 854 pixels. So when you look at some of these more modern phones like the top end um, HTC One or the Apple iPhone or things like that or the Samsung Galaxy, they're running at much higher resolution. But quite honestly, as someone who's used retina screens and non-retina screens and everything, I'm not sure the resolution really matters that much. Quite honestly, it's just it's a screen, it's small, and if you're watching a movie, for example, I mean, it's still plenty enough resolution. It's like an old TV, but you're watching it really close. So, and it's really small. So, that's worth knowing. It's 3.7 ounces, which actually makes it about 30% lighter than an iPhone, which weighs in at 4.5 pounds. No. <laughs> It'd be a really heavy iPhone. Let's try 4.5 ounces. And see, Android 5.1 Lollipop. Yes, Marshmallow is released, but no, no one's actually running it yet. So who knows? AT&T tells me probably 2016 until most of the Android models are running M. So these guys might very well keep right up. And in a couple of months, just one day you wake up and your phone is a completely different operating system, which is fairly terrifying. But no, no, an increment, an increment in the operating system. So what else can I tell you about this? Um, 1900 milliamp hour battery gives you eight hours of talk time and just under two weeks of standby time. So, you know, honestly, it's like most cell phones. You probably want to charge it overnight, every single night. And then the next day it'll run fine for the whole day. Um, and then one more thing, and this I really like, and I really wish Apple did this, and I know they don't, and they never will. It has a micro SD slot, so I can put in up to a 64 gig card, and that gives me, for example, poof, here's all my favorite audiobooks. So no hassles with worrying about how much space is on the phone. By the way, it has eight gig internal storage. It just gives you this nice overflow. So very cool Jet SL5009. I really like it. I'm a big fan of Very Cool. I think that they'd make really, really decent, affordable phones. And honestly, 139 bucks unlocked, take it to whatever carrier you want. You could probably use it with a pay-as-you-go service. Really, really great. Great for retired people, great for people that aren't online a lot, certainly great for kids. So um, I would say check it out. Uh, $139.99 at Amazon.com or go and check out Very Cool's own website at, you ready for this? Verycool.net. It's easy enough. All right, this is Dave Taylor and my phone and I will say goodbye. I'll catch you in the next video.